What's up guys? So I am going to be talking to you guys about how to achieve this super distressed butterfly locks that I have in my hair now. Let me just do a little spin around so you guys can see. So if you want to basically get some really distressed on the thicker side butterfly locks, definitely stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about the hair that I use. That is the biggest thing, right? So I use the Cuban twist hair. Now this is like for twists and locks, it's like very, very thick hair. So I use this hair and this was $5.99 at my local beauty supply store. I used one pack and then I bought another pack. So out of the second pack, I only used two pieces of it. So, and that's because when you take it out of the pack, I split it in half and I'm gonna show you in a second. So this is how it looks out of the pack. So they come in pieces, so you just pull one piece off. And instead of like braiding in my hair into this hair, which I'm gonna show you, I just split this in half because I just felt that it was too thick for one section and I got two pieces out of it. So that's how I was able to use one pack and then two pieces in the second pack. So I would recommend buying two packs. I got this in a color one. I didn't even realize I didn't get a one big, but I got it in a color one. Okay, so the other hair that I use, which is how I have this ombre kind of blonde and 1B mixed in, this is the Water Wave 3 pack. This is open, so don't mind. It's how it looks right now. But this is the Water Wave. It's three bundles in one pack, and this was $12.99 at my local beauty supply store. This is by Sensational. Um, it's SB, I mean, sorry, SM1B-27. So I saw this, I got two packs of this. One pack basically almost did most of my head and then I used one bundle out of this pack. So basically get two packs. Now my parts are a little more on the bigger side in the back and then in the front I went a little smaller. If you do smaller parts, maybe get like three or four packs. You always wanna get an extra pack of hair so you're not that one run into the beauty supply store in a bonnet because you need an extra pack of hair. I never want to be, I never want to be in that situation. So always get an extra pack for what you need, okay? Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into the hair tutorial so you can achieve a similar look. This is my crochet hair. I already have my hair section off in a braid and I am just pulling apart the crochet hair. As you guys can see, you just want to pull it apart so it's loose and not tight. So I am going to be taking my crochet hook and I'm going to be looping the hair in. And what you want to do is pull one side of that strand all the way through. Pull it a little bit more till you have just a little piece next to your hair in the braid. And now you're going to begin wrapping. The beginning of the twist, you're going to wrap this tight. But once you start to get further down, like I did it tight three or four times, then you get loose and you're just kind of throwing it over there. And to get the butterfly loop, you're just sticking your thumb, your thumb right through it. So as you can see me sticking my thumb right in between that piece and then wrapping it around. You can do as many of these butterfly pieces as you want. You can do a few, you can do a lot. And you're starting to see that it's just kind of getting like messy and distressed and everything. And you're just gonna keep twisting this all down the strand so you get it as long as you want it to be really. Once I get towards the bottom, you basically want to wrap the hair in an upward motion. And then I snip the little braiding hair if that's left and I just pull the little twist down like you guys saw me do. And I'm just going to do this a few more times for you guys just so you can see. Just make sure that that hair crochets into your hair nicely. Sometimes it can act a little funny, but you just want to twist it loosely and just kind of stick your thumb in between the hair that you're throwing over 
every now and then so you can get the little butterfly distress loops all throughout your lock. And that is pretty much it. Now there are cases where you're going to have to add hair in like I'm doing right now. I just took another piece and just began to wrap down. And once you get it to the length that you want, you are going to wrap it in an upward motion and then just cut off the remainder of that braiding hair if you're doing my method. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys how I have my hair already pre-parted and I just used some of that Cuban twist hair and I just braided it into my own hair. I only went a little bit down. I didn't braid my hair all the way down as you can see. And now I'm just going to show you guys another time of me taking my crochet hook and crocheting in that water wave hair. And I'm just pulling one end of that crochet hair all the way through and I kind of make it a little neat because this is a perfect example sometimes it can get a little iffy a little tangly at the root you just got to take it out and just make sure that it goes in smoothly so then you can start to begin your twist so see i got it all clear there so i'm just gonna pull it up a little more so you just have a little piece on the one end next to your hair and your braid and then begin to wrap it tight at the base and then loose towards the bottom All right, so once you get to the bottom, like I said, you want to start to wrap in an upward motion. Just wrap it pretty tight. It'll stay there. And then I'm cutting another piece of crochet hair. I cut it in half and now I'm splitting it. And I'm going to add some more hair because it's not long enough. So you just add it on and you just twist and wrap it around. Make it distress. Add some butterfly locks in there. Once it gets to the end, you wrap upwards and then you snip off the ends. And that is it. And the hair is done, girl. It's done. We did that. We did that. Hair is done, period. <laughs> so I hope you guys really enjoyed this hair tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Comment down below if you tried this hairstyle. And let me know what you want to do next. I'm thinking about doing a box braid tutorial or a jumbo twist tutorial extra long. Let me know what you guys think. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.